I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on radian measurements and angles on Cartesian planes. Here is a very important test question. I like you to watch the video, understand the concepts, and I hope that will help you to solve many related questions. Question number nine here is. The needle of the compass makes an angle of 2.5 radians with the line pointing north from the center of the compass. The tip of the needle is 4.5 centimeters below the line pointing west from the center of the compass. How long is the needle to the nearest hundredth of centimeters? So let's sketch the scenario. Let us assume this is north for us, right? So that is the north. We are given that the needle makes 2.5 radians with the line pointing north, right? So um, you should know that pi by 2 is 1.57, right? We know that pi is 3.14, correct? So that is how we so 1.57 this is 2.5 so this definitely is somewhere here in that quadrant correct so the position could be shown like this for the compass now what the question is saying is that the tip of the needle is 4.5 centimeters below the line pointing west so that is west so below this line that tip is 4.5 centimeters is that clear to you right this angle was 2.5 radius we need to now find the length of the needle how long is the needle to the nearest hundredth of centimeter so this length is what we need to find so let us figure out first the the acute angle alpha here Acute angle alpha will basically be equal to 2.5 radians. Take away this pi by 2, right? Pi by 2. Which is the same as 2.5 take away 1.57. Right? So let's use calculator. So we have 2.5 minus 1.57, which gives us 0 0.93. Right? So approximately 0 0.93. Now, in this triangle, we have the opposite and the hypotenuse, and therefore, we could use sine alpha, right? So, sine alpha is opposite side over hypotenuse, which is 4.5, and the length which we need to find. So, length L is equal to 4.5 divided by sine of this angle, 0 0.93, correct? So we have 4.5 divided by sine of 0 0.93, which is 5.613, 5.613, correct? We have to round our answer to the nearest hundredth of a centimeter, so that means 5.61 centimeters, right? So that becomes the, the length of this particular needle. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.